Hello ladies and gents, boys and girls. Today we're going to be playing Athlete Kings on the Sega Saturn. Uh, my name's Jamie, in case you haven't watched any of our prior videos. And, uh, well, let's get going. So, as you can see, uh, Athlete Kings a nice bright game. Very much like a 3D track and field, if you remember that from uh, various systems of old. Um, it says join eight international Olympic athletes etc 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 so why am I playing this well I'm a Londoner I'm in London we're preparing for London 2012 I'm not that excited about it quite frankly I'll talk more about that in a bit so let's have a look at the instruction manual so again a nice thick instruction manual the Saturn likes a nice thick instruction manual it's in various languages and covers the lot from your characters, uh, how to get started, the button configuration, um, some health and safety tips. So we go three main buttons, or well, two main buttons. You've got your uh, your action button, uh, which I'll explain about in a bit, and your sort of run button. I'll also go into that in a bit. There's some modes. You've got decathlon. Arcade mode, practice mode, uh, two player mode, and then the events the 100 meter dash. You've got a few others like high jump, long jump, etc. So let's get cracking. Here we go, straight in. I'm going to be selecting arcade mode. And here's our players Rick Blade for the US, Carl Vane. Germany. Uh, it goes on and on. Russia, Great Britain, Japan, Jamaica, France and China. You'll notice you've got female athletes and male athletes and I'm going to pick Great British athlete. So I'm just going to be doing day one. Uh, this arcade mode is split into two days. Uh, with various events. So day one we're going to start with the 100 meter dash. Very similar to track and field. You've just got to bash your buttons. You've got the A button and the C button which are your dash or action buttons. All you got to do is press them repeatedly. A, C, A, C, A, C. Nice and quick. Or you can just use the A button or just the C button. I prefer to use both. So here we go, let's try and beat this German. I've got a qualify in 13 seconds, I shouldn't have any trouble. So when you come up to the line, press the B button to dip over the line. And there we go, there's my new personal best, 10.28 seconds. Which is a new world record, and I've qualified. If you don't beat the qualification time, distance, etc., uh, you don't proceed on to the next game. So now I've just got to enter my name because I've smashed my top score by 0.1 of a second. Nice little 3D animation there of my username, TGS. And on to event number two. The long jump. Now this event makes use of your action run button and um, the B button. So here we go beforehand it just tells you how to do it so you tap your run button nice and quickly and then hold your action button and then release when you're at around 45 degrees uh, 25 degrees sorry 45 degrees is some of the other events um, despite what it says there pressing the action button to extend legs you've actually got to roll your d-pad from down to down forward to forwards in order to extend your legs so I've got a qualification length of five meters here so here we go tapping the run button nice and quick press and hold B 
and release as quickly as possible. So I made 32 degrees, I've qualified with a jump of 6.52 metres. It was only 5 metres to qualify, but if I go again, you get 3 tries at this. 19 degrees and a nice long jump of 7.7 .7 metres. World record on this game is 8 metres, so let's try and beat that. Remember to press your action button before the line, otherwise it's a foul and the go doesn't count. So 22 metres, nice and fast, 7.91. I think I said 22 metres, I meant 22 degrees. That's it, I've qualified. Oh, I've got second place overall for distance. That's what that record denotes. So here we go, on to the third event. And what is the third event? The third event is the shot put. Now, while recording this video, I had to have three tries at it because I just wasn't good enough. Um, the first qualification was 17 meters to throw the shot put. Uh, second time when I pressed continue, uh, it moved down to 15 meters because I was clearly struggling. And this, which is my third attempt, dropped down to 10 meters. Now, quite ironically, you'll see my first throw. I beat all three qualification lengths. So all you've got to do, you've just got to watch the power meter which goes up and down on its own. Press your action button to stop it and let go at the specified angle. So there we go, there's my first row. And 22.45. Not only did I beat all three qualification distances, I also set a new world record on my first go of my third attempt. So let's try and beat it again and press and let go 64 degree angle not that great but the power's there 13.96 I wouldn't have qualified in either of my two prior attempts on that one and our third and final go 42 degrees quite a nice angle quite a nice power 157 I would have qualified for my second continue, not my first go. There's a nice little celebration there. And I'm through on the third attempt. And my new world record, 22.45. Quite a nice throw. It's kind of down to speed on that one, but I mean, I find it's more luck than anything. So let's move on. So, high jump next. And let's check out how to do the high jump. So, as per most games, tap your run button to build up nice momentum. You get just before the line, press your action button and hold to 45 degrees, then release. Your player jumps. As you're on top of the bar, Press down on the D-pad to arch your body and get right over that bar. So, to qualify all I need to do is jump 1 meter 64. So, I'm going to push it a little bit higher, see what I can do to 172. Off I go, run, 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 and press the action button and press down. Qualified, nice and easy. So the world record on this is 2 meters 20. Let's see what I can do about that. Feeling quite confident. Going straight in to set a new world record. At 222. Building up nice speed. Right, I've hit top speed. Press the angle and down. And bosh, set a new world record. 222. Happy days. And I'll do a little celebration jig. Let's have a third go, 226. So why do I not want the London Olympics? Well, quite simply because my office 
is in Tower Hill near Tower Bridge along the River Thames and when the London Olympics start it's going to be a nightmare commute because um, getting to work and leaving to go home of an evening are bang in the middle of the uh, early morning events and the evening events um, start times so there's going to be a heck load of people on public transport that's why I don't want it there you go I'm just a grumpy old man let's move on to our next event without further ado what is it 400 meter race very similar to the 100 but you've got to be a bit more strategic you can't just tap the hell out of the run button for 400 meters you have a stamina gauge now I am poor at this event I can qualify I just cannot win it's all about judging if you can go a little bit quicker than your opponent but at the same time keep your stamina up if you run out of stamina you've got to let go of the run button and basically just jog a little bit but the aim is not to run out of stamina let's see how I fare on this qualification time is a 51 second lap remember not to press go before the go is announced because you'll be penalized so as you can see I'm keeping my speed relatively low a little bit above the opponent but I keep on dropping my strength so I've got to slow down a little bit and I've just dropped down to two bars of strength so as the computer so I think I can push it a little bit coming around the last bend and we're on the last straight where I'm really gonna hammer it so I've overtaken the computer and I've run out of stamina so I've got to walk over the line and I've come second but I still qualify so that's good enough for me so I'm not going to move on to day two because that will make for a very very long video perhaps I'll do that in another video but um, other events are javelin, pole vault, 110 meter hurdles, the discus and the 1500 meters um, so that pretty much sums up Athlete Kings on the Sega Saturn very enjoyable especially with a couple of players um, and very apt that I've chosen to do this video on the day of the London Marathon 2012 so if you like track and field grab hold a copy of this it is good fun very simple um, not really too much mastering needed and uh, very playable so remember to drop us a tweet at this address and visit our blog at this address so thanks for watching my name's Jamie and you've been watching the game shed cheers and bye